if I was doing like a more glam look, I definitely would be putting powder and everything down first. But we're keeping it minimalistic and simple today. So. Hello, hey, it's Ali J, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm showing you guys my morning skincare and makeup routine for when I have somewhere to go and I want to look cute. Um, so the setup today is a little different because I'm actually facing my mirror so that you guys can see everything that I'm doing. And I'm just really excited to get started. So I already did my workout for today. So I'm going to get in the shower really quick, wash up, and then we are going to start our skincare and makeup routine. Okay, so now I am fresh out of the shower. I'm going to show you guys the things that I use for my morning skincare routine. So the first is, of course, cleansing. And I always use the Murid Clarifying Cleanser. I've been using this since the last time I actually filmed a skincare video. This has been my holy grail product. It never changes. This is the only cleanser that keeps me acne free. So I did that in the shower. So my next step is to tone. And I use the Mario Bidescu skincare facial spray. Um, I've used tons of facial sprays. They all kind of do the same thing. But this one has always been one of my favorites. Not really sure why, but I think it's the price range. It's only $7 for this bottle, and this bottle lasts me like, I want to say maybe like two months. I do a couple spritzes on my face. <laughs> and that is the first step after cleansing. After that, I go like this to let some of it soak in a little bit. And now my next step is this serum. So I go through different serums. Usually I'm using like a brightening serum or a vitamin C serum that's kind of like an oil base, but lately my skin has been really dry, which is weird because it's summer. Almost, it's almost summertime, it's May. Um, but my skin's been really dry, so I've been using this Hydro Boost Serum. So this isn't the moisturizer, but this is the serum, and it's been doing a really great job of keeping my skin very moisturized. I use like two pumps of this, put it all over, and I always get my neck and go upwards on my neck. So that's my serum. So my routine has always been um, cleanser, toner, a serum, moisturize, sunscreen. Five steps. I always go through different serums. So my serum is basically whatever my need at the time is. Is it vitamin C? Is it brightening? Is it um, firmness? Is it moisture? And I choose my serum based off of that. My next step is moisturizing. And right now I'm really loving the Clinique um, Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This actually isn't mine. It's my husband's. I put them on. And I forgot how much I love this product, so <laughs> I've been using it too. Because it's just, it's such a great moisturizer without feeling greasy, but at the same time, your skin feels moist the whole day. Final step is SPF. So I would say this is probably, besides cleaning your face, the second most important step because this is what keeps you from getting dark spots. It helps your dark spots fade away and it protects your skin from aging and wrinkles and things like that. I have always used this for as long as I can remember. Um, one, because it doesn't make me white, which a lot of black women tend to have to search for a sunscreen that doesn't leave that overcast, that cloudiness. And then um, it's breakout free, meaning that it's, you know, meant for your face. It's not going to break you out like a body sunscreen would. So I always have used this for as long as I can remember. I believe my mom might have been who put me onto it because I would use it when I was younger. And I get my shoulders, my chest area, the back of my neck, and I put a lot on my face. And I know it seems like it's a lot, but you do need to use a lot of sunscreen. Um, to keep your skin safe, especially now that it's, well today it was 90 degrees, so the sun is out, out. And then if you're going swimming, or if you're going to be like outside like for the entire day, you have to remember to reapply. 
All right, now that our skincare is done, the next step is makeup. And for makeup today, I'm going to be using a lot of Merit Beauty, and I want to thank Merit Beauty for partnering with me on this video. So, I'm going to be using a mix of Merit's products and then um, some of my other staple products. The reason I really like Merit is because the whole purpose of the brand really is to just cut down how long it takes to do your makeup and it's all about looking beautiful but kind of like with the bare minimum type of thing. Their motto kind of is like less is more so like their packaging is just simple stuff that just looks cute on your vanity and it's just very quick and easy to apply and just get out of the door which is definitely me so I'm so glad that they reached out to me. They sent me this card along with some of their products. You know in the year 2020 we learned we don't need much. We're accustomed to bare nails, natural hair, and days without makeup. So the whole purpose is just minimalism. And I just love that. First thing I do when I do my makeup, obviously, is primer. I'm going to prime my face. And my favorite primer is the Fenty Beauty Primer. I don't know if this has SPF in it. I know one of their products. No, I know a few of her products has SPF but I don't remember which ones. Mine broke, I've had it for so long, so I have to like open it and get the primer out like this. Um, so it's definitely time for me to buy a new one, but I still have so much of this one left. It lasts me so long, even the um, foundation has lasted me so long. So, I put this all over. I'll let this sink into my skin. And remember, this is me doing like a minimalistic look. All right, so I'm gonna be using Merit's Brow 1980. And this is a volumizing pomade. It says, a nod to the brows of the 80s. This pomade, is that how you pronounce it, pomade? This pomade gives you thick, fluffy brows that last all day. And I've been using this for weeks. Like I've had these Merit products for weeks. Just know that you're getting my honest review because I've been using these I've been using these for a while now. This isn't me just using them for the first time on camera. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. And I always leave it right on my vanity where I can reach it. And I just go for it every morning because it's just simple. And I just, I use it to shape too. Like, oops, I got some up here. But I use it to shape too. Like, just look at that difference. Like, I don't know if the camera is really picking it up. You can definitely, like, keep that fluffy look. But my eyebrows are just a lot. And I feel like they're kind of wild sometimes. So, like, I try not to do it. Like, I don't want them to look too wild sometimes. Instead of using a full-on foundation on days like today where I just want a very basic look, I'm going to go ahead and use Merit's complexion stick dun, 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 dun. and you see how like all of their products are so like they're like small so like you can like bring them with you everywhere and they're like simple like I love that and we, I'm getting off track all right so this is called the minimalist and this is a perfecting confex hmm. this is a perfecting complexion stick so it says swipe on the skin where you want coverage and buff it out with a brush so you can't tell what's you and what's makeup so, and it also says, it's not foundation or concealer, it's both. Use it only where you need it so you get compliments on your skin, not your makeup. And I love that. So, one side's like the twisty side and the other side is the actual product. You can see some smudging around the corners because, like I said, I've been using this for, I want to say like three weeks now. Because I just wanted to make sure that I like these products before I just put them on my channel. So I just get my problem areas, so I have a few dark spots, so like you can see me just covering those little dark spots. I always do my whole under eye and my lid as well. Like I, I basically do all around my eyes because like I just have raccoon eyes. I do. Like it's, so I'm just getting my dark spots, but like that's always been my problem spot is my um my around my eyes like I've always just had darkness around my eyes I don't know why I think it's just hereditary because it doesn't matter how much I work out how much I eat I mean how well I eat any of that it still is how it is 
I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna buff all of this out. Like it says, um, usually like the past couple weeks, I've actually been doing this with my fingers. Um, and I know that the instructions say to do it with um, a brush, but I just was like in a rush and I really just wanted to see how well like this is when it comes to, um, you know, just being for the woman who just like really wants to get out of the house quick. So when I use this with just my fingers, it actually works really well. So like you can see like my skin's much more even now. I'm starting to sweat because it's hot in my house. Oh, it is 94 degrees today, y'all. And the air conditioning really only reaches one room. So it's a little hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over this with a little bit of powder only because, typically I don't, but only because I'm just sweating right now. Like I have all of these lights on me right now. Oh, and it's 94 degrees outside and the door is closed so the air isn't getting in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some powder on these areas and especially around my mouth. And I have no makeup around my mouth. It's just oily because, because it's hot. So I'm gonna get some of this excess. All right, so if you look, if you look at my face now, you'll see that it's just so much more even but it still kind of looks like I didn't do anything really because the products are just, it's kind of meant to be like that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to go into my eyes. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then I'm going to use a mascara. I'm using um, the It Lash Blowout from It Cosmetics. So let me go ahead and curl these lashes. The little bit of lashes that I have. I usually get my lashes done and I'm getting them done tomorrow. I get like really simple lashes, but like I have no lash. Like I've just always been that way. Like I've always been somebody who like doesn't have long lashes. I've long everything else. Like I grow long hair, I have big eyebrows, my nails grow long and all that. But my lashes though, I was not blessed in that area. Because one lash, like, and y'all probably can't even see this. Like that's how small my my lashes are. That's why that's why I get them done. Cause it's like I usually don't wear mascara a lot because I'm like, what's the point? Nobody can see my lashes. Everybody in my house has longer lashes than me. My husband, my dog, my cat. Lashes are done. So now that lashes are done, I move on to more of the face. All right, so we're moving back on to Merit Beauty, and this is their Day Glow Stick. So this is a highlighting balm. It says perfect, perfect, perfect for a day and night. This highlighter gives you a dewy balmy sheen with zero sparkle. Layer over, layer on last over cheek and brow bone or use as a prep step on bare skin for an all over glow. So I've used this a few times and this gives me like a natural kind of like glow. Like it makes me look kind of like dewy, like I don't know, how do I explain it? I don't want to say like sweaty, like do you see that? Like it's not like sweaty, it's more like just what you naturally, what people naturally look like. Basically what I was looking like before I put powder on. Like, you know, that natural kind of, um, what do you call it? That natural glow. It's not like a highlighter, like it doesn't, like it looks really shiny when you use it, but it's actually not like, I don't know how to explain it, like it's just not that shiny, it's more like a, a dew stick. I would call it like a dewy stick. Like it's more like to make your skin look dewy. I put a little here, a little there. I like a little here as well. And then sometimes I do do the brow bone like it says. Although it's just so like subtle. Like it's very subtle. Again, really small packaging. These are full size and it's just like all of this stuff is just so perfect for just bringing, like I bring that stuff with me all the time because it's just perfect, perfect. So next I'm going to go ahead and do my cheeks. Um, 
So they actually do have a cheek set. I really wanted to use it, but that did not come in my package. So <laughs> I'm gonna use my own blush. Super old. I mean, like who has Mary Kay anymore? But I love the color on me and it's just, it gets the job done and I've just yet to really look into other blushes. So this is the blush. And then the final step is obviously lips. So they were so nice that they sent me not just one, but two of their shade sticks. That's what they call them, shade sticks. So I have the packaging for one here and it's a shade stick tinted lip oil. So it's kind of like a oily, I've used one of the colors a lot. So it's kind of like a oily type feeling, but it gives you like that little bit of color on your lips. I kind, It kind of reminds me of um, like Korean makeup. Like you know how like they only put like lip tints really a lot in like popular Korean culture. It seems like it's, you know, it's kind of like that. Like it's not like a full on lipstick. It just adds a little tint of color. It says a wash of sheer color rich with rose hip and grapeseed oils for healthy but never sticky lips. Slick on whenever your look needs to pick me up, no mirror needed. And again, this packaging, this packaging is so cute. So I have two colors. I have Pink Beat and Mata Ketch. Um, Mata Ketch is a little darker than Pink Beat. So I'm going to use Mata Ketch because I like, I really like darker pinks on my lips. I don't really like lighter pinks because I just feel like they don't look good on me. And so it's like a regular, um, it looks like a regular, you know, like a lip wrong type thing but the feel is much more like oily and like it feels more like a lip moisturizer than anything so this is with it on my lips and like as you can see like it did not add too too much color because it's not really meant to do all of that I always use the Maybelline Master Fix as my setting spray because I've just been using it for years and it works. Alright, so, so now my makeup is done and I want you guys to just really take a look at just like how natural and pretty this looks. Like I'm just loving it. I feel like I almost have like nothing on my face but like when I look at myself I know like I don't look like this waking up but at the same time like I don't feel overdone like I don't feel like people are gonna ask me about my makeup when I go to work um so I want to put the whole look together so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair like look at that like look at how beautiful and it's just so like I just look so simple so put together and simple and just like it's given me like I don't want to say like Hollywood glam, but it's giving me kind of like, like a, like a, I don't know, like a old movie Hollywood type. I'm loving this look. I'm loving it. I'm going to show you all my hair. Okay, I want to thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I also want to thank Merit Beauty once again for sending me these products and just allowing me to share them with you guys. I love every single one of these, and like I said, I've been using them for a while now um, because I just love how just easy and simple they are. They are just so small, and like you can just take them everywhere with you, and you really don't even need a mirror for most of this, honestly. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.